YouTube. Um, firstly, I just want to say thank you for the comments and for the views. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't realise I was getting that much um, interest um, and I've been away, so my apologies for uh, the delay. But without further ado, this video is going to talk about water flow in the tank and why it's important. Um, and firstly, what you've got to remember is that you know uh, these species have come from the ocean. And as you know, the ocean's constantly flowing with strong currents and waves and storms and one thing or another. So they've got a constant flow of water that's shifting massive amounts of the ocean about. Um, and we've got to try and really recreate, uh, you know, as much as a similar environment uh, that they do find in the ocean. And there's reasons for that. So th the main reasons for having decent water flow, uh, the first one, it... Um, oxygenates your aquarium, it feeds oxygen around your tank um, second of all it, it will feed all your corals because as the water flows around um, the microorganisms will obviously brush past your corals and they will catch that and that's how they eat and they feed um, it provides a good strong current for your fish so it will keep them healthy because it keeps them swimming against the current um, it will stop you having build ups of any dead spots a dead spot in the aquarium is an area where sort of waste food and waste from your fish will sort of build up um, because it's not getting any water movement to sort of uh, collect it and feed it round into your filter system. So if you've got a couple of those building up, they will break down and eventually turn into ammonia, and which is obviously harmful for your tank. Um, so generally speaking, water flow is very important and it will also... Um, prevent you from constantly cleaning your tank, from cleaning your glass. If you've got good water flow, uh, you know the natural movement of the water will clean away bits of algae, it'll clean away dead bits of food and it'll send it straight back into your filter system so you've got a much healthier and cleaner aquarium. So, all that said, um, basically the best way to get to better water flow is to introduce some power heads. Now the power heads I've bought, I've bought two they are the Coralia Nano power heads that uh, I'll show you in a few minutes and I'll show you where I've put them in my aquarium. So if you bear with me, uh, I'll just set the lid off and I'll show you where I've positioned mine and explain why and how you can buy and where you can buy these from. Um, so the first thing I've done is the outlet tube that comes with the TL450 that's attached to the main pump. I have turned that to face the surface of the water. Uh, I've done that for a couple of reasons. One, um, it allows uh, more oxygen to get into your tank. Um, you can see the little bubbles there that are being produced as um, that surface water is being broken. Uh, second of all, it provides sort of like um, a natural current at the top of the water, similar to what a wave would do. And as you can see there, it's moving the corals, which is a good sign. Uh, and you can see a couple of bubbles that are going in. Uh, another reason is because it's breaking that surface water. And by breaking that surface water, you're allowing a lot more oxygen to come into your water, which is obviously going to keep things a lot healthier. And at the same time, by breaking that surface water, it allows gases from your aquarium to be released, uh, which keeps your pH balanced. So those are the reasons I've done that. Like I say, you don't have to do that, but it's just in my opinion, um, that's the best way to run these aquariums. So this is how it looks from the top. I'll just turn it down so you can see the power heads. Um, I bought two power heads. Um, they're both the Coralia or the Corellia um, Hydro range. This top one is uh, a 900 litres per hour and as you can see I've got that facing around the back of my rock and I've also allowed a slight gap around the back of the aquarium. Um, around the back of your rock also needs good flow. It's not essential but I think it's important um, because for one you can't see around the back of the rock so you can't see if there's any dead spots um, or anything building up there so that's why I've introduced one there um, so I can rest easy knowing that um, there isn't going to be any building up there and secondly I'm going to be getting much better flow so I've got that one facing around the back and that will tidy up and push around any water that's around the back of the rock there uh, into the filtration system and keep it healthy and clean um, and second of all um, I've purchased another one. This is again a, a Hydro Corellia uh, powerhead, but this one's a bit more powerful. I've gone for the 1600 litres per hour. 
uh, and that pushes the water against the corner of this aquarium in the middle and then flows it round the front and round uh, the middle section of the tank. So when they're all up and running, um, you're getting the water from the top that's um, breaking the surface water and the flow is going round the top and you can see straight away it starts moving the corals and clashes down here and comes round here slightly. Uh, that second power head in the corner there blasts out through that rock hits the middle section of the tank and then creates more flow in the middle and then on top of that I've got the power head um, you can just see there that also goes around the back of the rock and keeps all them areas moving efficiently. Um, so I'll just drop the lid down um, a few more words and then that'll be it. Uh, just briefly <clears throat> what I forgot to mention obviously you want to keep it as tidy as possible and um, what I've done is I've unscrewed this here um, and what I've done is I've fed the wires under there and they go right back to the back of the tank. Really quick and easy to do um, you know it'll take you a few minutes it's just a bit of a maintenance tip unscrew that and just fit them through and you've got it nice and tidy. So that's pretty much it about the um, water flow and the power heads like I say there's so much more information online if you want to research it but that should give you a basic guide. They're really really easy to install, they come with a magnetic and um, a suction pad that works through the glass and through the plastic. Just be careful when you are installing them because the magnets are quite powerful. Uh, you don't want to uh, break your glass when the magnets uh, come together. I'll just put a brief uh, slide on next showing you the um, exact um, model of the power head. Um, the reason why I use the Coralia ones is because they're specially designed for nano tanks because of the smallest you can buy. Um, you don't have to go for those um, but it's just um, what I would recommend for the size of this TL450 and they're around about 20 quid each. I'll put a quick slide on like I say that just shows you the ones I've bought. Uh, I'll also provide a website of who do them. It's called City Aquatics in Cardiff. Uh, I'm not from Cardiff but um, they seem to have a, a quite a large stock and they deliver within a couple of days and the prices are pretty um, pretty standard. You're talking £20 to £25 for a power head. I hope it's been informative. Um, again, any questions please ask. And um, next video will be a water change uh, and a quick clean of the tank. And that's it. Uh, once again, thank you.